shabbier mood than your sour ass. Don't worry about the other boy. Dynamite's a great conversation starter. While we're on the dynamite, Chester will be none too chatty with his gut sprayed all over a train carriage. I know how to shape an explosion, Edgar. Suck my dick. He's the Secretary of War, not the Secretary of Bridges. Uh, let's go have a look see. I go high. Young Rent here. Still on your father's leash, I see. <laughs> Heard you were on your way to the gathering, Chess. What's this? Catering? Why, I have no idea what you. <laughs> That big shiny ball out there is no good for your sensitive skin. The sun's <laughs> not to know what they'll do to me. Fun game. Let's test that theory. No, no, Richard, stop! Belmontville! The, the gathering's in Belmontville! Excellent choice, Chester. And since you're feeling so damn helpful, we're gonna be needing a guide. Consider it a promotion. Give shit. Belmontville's a long way from the manor. We're on a clock here. We've been hunting Debano for three months. What's another few hours? <sighs> have it your way. But your father's gonna have your ass as an ashtray if we don't make that presentation. You're retired. What's he gonna do? Fire you? <laughs> Belmontville Mines, huh? Oh, we're gonna be walking blind into a damn maze. And if our tick friend here is telling the truth, the Bono's gonna be right in the middle of it. I don't think I'm in a position to lie, do you? <laughs> That's the spirit, Chester. Now you lift those fancy illusions, and who knows? Maybe you'll make it out of this after all. The glamour! <laughs> Even I have my limitations, Mr. Gravener. You want a limitation? How about walking around without a head? Crawling with familiars. No question. <laughs> and where do you think you're going? Judging by that tone of yours, Sounds like I'm making sure Fancy Pants here doesn't make a run for it. In broad daylight. That's why we need familiars. I'm starting to question your qualifications for this job. Those ass licking. <laughs> Tick lovers should be shot on sight. Ah, what the hell. Maybe we can play with dynamite out here, too. Right, Jess? I'll make you a new waistcoat. I don't believe my tailor would like that. See? You're bonding already. Ah, eat me! That gathering won't find itself, you know? Move it! The can is right there in front of you. Oh, shut up. I told you my sight's not recovered after the change. Hey, so you're telling me it's not the booze?
family of Calvert. Oh, another tick wannabe. Well, that's not gonna happen. Looks about right. I'll bet my last dime to Bono's here somewhere. Dead end. Great. Hmm? You seeing this too? Take it off. Mr. Rentier, on a first date? What do you take me for? You're right. Maybe a little light to set the mood. No, no need. I see it now. Of course. The glamour. I'm on it. Hmm. Today, Chester. Please. I need to concentrate. It's not that easy to sever the illusion from its source. What's the source? You don't want to know. switch. I'll take the explosives, you get to Bono. Is this about the bridge? It's not not about the bridge. <sighs> Got the damn train, didn't I? architecture but that that's something
It's hard to compete against the species that keeps on growing and advancing with their technology, creating new and more dangerous weapons of war and other engineering marvels. As I see it, the real struggle is nature versus technology, instinct versus genius. We have allowed those naturally subordinate to us to transform themselves from prey into predators. If we don't alter this trajectory, eventually they will murder us all. crash their little party. We consider ourselves proud hunters, predators, but that pride sometimes prevents us from growing as a species. Internal divisions have weakened us. Our numbers dwindle while their numbers grow, but it's not too late. We can still survive, but to do so, we must be ready to adapt. We cannot be too proud to evolve. is lifted, we won't stand a chance. We might be more powerful, but they will crush us with their numbers. Listen to the voice of reason. There is a thin line between being a survivor... Enough. Your lines thirst for all out war with the humans endangers us all. Peace of Navano. Without the sheep, the wolves go hungry, yes. But the day is coming when the sheep will outwit the wolves. Haven't you been watching, brother? The humans have harnessed the power of steam and lightning, and they grow mighty. If our hubris allows us to grow fat and lazy in the shadows, they will soon have the power to hunt us down like dogs. And so you propose war. War suggests there is a chance we might lose. I propose we strike with my new asset. We can control the change. Reclaim the Sanguasuja's rightful place at the top of the food chain. Control the change? Are you mad? Even suggesting such a thing is blasphemy. Dominic, brother, these are blasphemous times. While my methods may very well be at variance with our tradition, I can tell you one thing. If we don't adapt, we will perish. 
against your own kind. I sentence you and your line to the true death. I told you, Father. They wouldn't listen. We had to try, Felicity Mikara. Our work will be a lot easier if we can help them understand. If we can't... Then... we... FORCE THEM TO! Could have brought a bigger knife. Some people get a gold watch when they retire. I got Susan here. <laughs> Should have asked him how to get out of here. Too late. He won't be of any use for a month or two. Wait. What about Chester? Well, what are you gonna do? Now that is how you shape an explosion. Damn, we're late. Now at least we won't be going back to the manor empty-handed. Taxpayers' money. James Harrow. The people's hero. <laughs> I heard the White House sends him golden toilet paper. Long as he keeps the presidential ass clear of tick trouble. Feed him well. We've got a lot of ground to cover tonight. Not staying for the presentation. The whole institute is in town. 
Uh, I'll pass on the corporate back padding session. I don't need another retirement lecture. Here, take this to your father before it wakes up and starts cursing us all to high hell. Great, so I'll just tell him you've traded killing vampires for swilling cheap bourbon? Tell him whatever you want. Fine, skip the presentation. But you ain't getting away from a final drink with me afterwards. Sweet home. Can't remember the last time we gathered together in the manor. Mr. Rent here? At ease, boys. My father in his office? He is. How did it go? Did you get that big fangster you were after? Grave nurse with you? He sends his regards. He's afraid you'll try and talk him out of retirement again. I don't believe either of us want that. You know, he did risk his life to get this for you. That's Harrow's trinket. I'm sure you'll both be rewarded accordingly. Edgar isn't some civilian looking for a medal. This is all he knows. Your institute saw to that. My institute? <sighs> this isn't about Agent Gravener, Jesse. We are on the cusp of great progress, great change. Today's presentation is of critical importance to the family. After which... Edgar is family. After which, I expect you to step up to your duties here at the manor. With all due respect, Director, I am a field agent, not a paper pusher. You're a rentier! <sighs> Why must you always make me spoon-feed these things to you, Jesse? There are bigger things at work here than running around in caves slaying beasts. I do believe someday soon you will see it my way. And if you don't, it's my responsibility to force that change. Now, leave me be. I must prepare for the presentation. And send someone in here to clean up this mess. Mr. Rentier, Agent Feathers is waiting for you in the lobby. Oh, officially they called it a cholera epidemic, but truth was they were dealing with a terrible outbreak of amateur necromancy. The entire institute was engaged in the hunt. Veil of Secrets. Train fare here cost me an arm and a leg. Sure hope it's worth it. From my first year of cadet training, I'm the shortest one of the bunch. But the very next year, I grew like a weed. Had to buy all new pants. Mr. Rentier, you remember me? You're just in time. The presentation should be starting soon. What do you got for me this time? Edgar and my father in the Civil War. 
right before the bloody Battle of the Wilderness, Central Virginia. His life changed forever during that fight. Highborn nearly killed him, badly tore up his leg. Edgar carried him in the dead of night across enemy lines to a field hospital, but the surgeon could only do so much. After that, Dad could no longer function in the field. Heavy as hell. This is huge. Did you see that airship? All the big shots from DC don't come here for no reason. Word is, the director's gonna show off a new version of the gauntlet. But, I mean, you didn't hear <gasps> that from me. by the stables. He ain't coming in. I heard Gravener's finally retired. Father in all his directorial glory. The artist who painted the portrait, what was his name? Philemon Cole? He was so curious about those gauntlets. Word came back that he talked about them in a local pub and Father had to give him a very stern talking to. Scared the living piss out of him. Father was a very private person. I'm surprised he ever consented to even pose for this portrait. And you can see by the look in his eyes, he wasn't too happy about it. Good to see you back, sir. <laughs> gentlemen, uh, gentlemen, if you'll take your seats. And, uh... <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, I'm Assistant Secretary of War, James Harrow. President Cleveland wants you to know how appreciative we are of the vital service the Urentia Institute performs, defending our great country from monsters of all shapes and sizes. He also wanted me to make sure you're not blowing all our money on Mexican Monty, but that's another conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, quite. Well, uh, <clears throat> as I say, keep up the good work. God bless you all, and uh, God bless America. Thank you all for gathering here tonight. It's rare we gather in such numbers, but I believe great progress calls for momentous celebration. Our efforts in the fight against the Sanguisuja's spread have too often been baffled by the creature's most insidious weapon, their so-called glamours. These impenetrable illusions have allowed countless fiends to slip through our grasp for too long. That ends now. Agent Rentier, we've upgraded the standard field agent's gauntlet with something our science bods have affectionately named the Zapper. Not exactly an elegant name, but it does the trick. When triggered, the Zapper sends out an electrical impulse that shatters any nearby sanguizoon's glamours forthwith, eliminating what is not and leaving only what is. Once finished, these new gauntlets will be distributed to cells nationwide post haste, allowing us to sweep our respective territories for glamoured nooks and crannies. This is the beginning of a new age, gentlemen. Armed with this gauntlet, there is no way our enemy can surprise us.
Jesus Christ. Oh, beggar man out one piece. Far. Jess, thank Christ. Where's my father? Still kicking ass. Last time I saw him. Old fool thinks he's still in the field. Listen, he wants us to destroy the archives before these assholes get their hands on it. You get to it, and I'll find Harrow's pampered ass. Meet me out front. Never thought I'd have to blow up my own house. I'm gonna find who did this and tear them a new asshole.
Shut your ugly traps. Joseph Warren and great grandfather Dick. To find the tech headquarters, he let the Brits take him captive. Would love to have seen the surprise on their faces when he incinerated those tick nests and saved their royal asses. I can smell the gas. Now to find my father.
fuck is this? Get him out of here. I got this. Don't be cross with me, Father. I couldn't leave you at the mercy of these savages. You not do that, you fleshy toad! You nearly hit him. get married. Now stop blabbing, you're gonna be fine. I know what I'm doing. This is the key, Jesse. Don't let it out of your sight. It's all we've got. It's in your hands now. We need to stop! Stop?! We need to get the fuck out of here! We need to find a defensive position to hold us over till morning. Then we head to Calico. Wife could blow this defensive position over with a wet fart. We need the higher ground. And that's where the sun will hit first. I'll get the horses and we'll stand our ground up there.
Chess. Kinda busy here, Edgar. Lightning? Good thing we still got a big shiny ace up our sleeve. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I don't think he's breathing. Calico, it's around the corner. There's a doctor there. Protocol Epsilon. <laughs> Sit down and roll up your sleeve. We will save your father, Mr. Rentier. Cell's engineer. Virgil. Virgil only. It's an honor to finally meet you in the flesh. Uh, sir, your gauntlet is a thing of beauty. Only a genius could... I need that fixed. Yesterday. I'll need a bigger lab if I'm gonna solve the mysteries of time travel, sir. I mean... How are we doing? Arrow needs a scapegoat. He won't leave without someone to blame for that fiasco. Pissed off little Highborn looking for her maker's head? No one could have predicted that. I don't think she did all that for just Abano. We're missing something. I'd bet my last buck we'll heal more from this Felicity tick pretty soon. I'm gonna check if Amelia needs some backup with Harrow. Who do I have to bend over this bar and indiscreetly <clears throat> fuck to get some coffee around here? What a day. See you in the briefing room. Owe you everything, Doctor. Need to check on my gauntlet first. There must be a workshop somewhere around. Mr. Renty, Mr. Harrow wants to see you as soon as you're done in the workshop. Sorry about your father, sir. Uh, James Hall. I'm the quartermaster. It's hard to see a father like this. We go way back. Wartime. He and Graven uh, saved my ass from a Wisconsin banshee. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make sure to repay that debt. Mr. Harrow is waiting for you in the briefing room, sir. Yeah, yeah, heard that already. According to the protocols, if the director is unable to fulfill his duties, his next of kin takes... And DC agreed to that?
terribly sorry about the mana, sir. I can't believe the Sanguisers would dare oppose the status quo like this. For sin? When I got your goddamn gilded invitation, I expected champagne and canapes! Instead, some fang fuck broke into your headquarters and slapped you all around like a gaggle of whimpering sissies! Now the entire country is left unprotected while I stand here with my dick in my hand like an idiot! So again, could someone please tell me how the fuck did this happen? Security services were redirected to protect our most valuable asset. And how the fuck wasn't that me? That was my father's call, and it was Agent Gravener's quick thinking that saved your life, sir. For all the fucking good it'll do once I tell the Capitol that its primary defense against all kinds of monsters just collapsed. We'll take care of it, sir. What, from here? This place is a shithole at the edge of fucking nowhere. And don't be fooled by our humble trappings, Secretary Harrow. Calico Cell has the highest survival rate in the Institute, as well as its very best engineer. We are your only chance of turning this around. Then I expect a report on those tick assholes on my desk first thing, Doctor. And who the fuck are you? I, uh, uh, um... <sighs> Wait a minute. I'm the best engineer? You better be, because we need this thing operational as soon as possible, before Harrow comes back to string us all up. Harrow can suck my... How bad is it? Well, the glamour disruptor's fried. Then we have the insulation around the power coupling. Can you fix it or not? It's doable, but I'll need time. A few weeks, a month tops. We ain't got that long. We have to be ready to take down this Felicity character when we find her. You mean if we find them? We have no idea where to even look. Not necessarily. To the north, there's a canyon surrounding the main trail. And the unimaginative locals call it the Devil's Pass. Now reports mention possibly unknown vampiric specimens. And we chalked it down to hearsay, but now we sent our top Sanguisuge expert to investigate. I hope by expert you mean a field agent and not another bookworm. Scott Bloom co-wrote the Institute's Sanguisuge Best We need soldiers, not pencil pushers. I can't run around looking for a missing egghead hoping that maybe he brings something to the table. When did he last report? Five days ago. Now let's just hope he's lost in research. This species appears to possess shape-shifting abilities, most uncommon for the typical sanguisuge. I dare say, this ability might be blood-dependent, but it's hard to tell based on the limited amount of evidence found. I'm wondering if we're witnessing some sort of 
accelerated evolution, spurred perhaps by certain unknown environmental factors. is happening here. Got it. Oh, let's check this beauty out. Damn it, that hurt! Get the rocks ready! Get in place, assholes! Wait for my signal? Ready! Dead end. Fucking great. Gotta find another way. Hope I'll find some trace of Bloom.
This canyon is protected like some kind of vault. What are they hiding here? I'll take it. That's mine. Too far to jump. Hope I'll find Bloom in one piece. Jesse two, bridges zero. Research continues, but nothing I've seen explains the unusual capabilities of this curious animal. Judging by the diameter of the tunnels it creates, I estimate it stands at least eight feet tall and is quite powerful. Shit, whatever is behind that door must be huge. Might be that thing Bloom was looking for. Gotta find a way to hold those doors.
I find the flying creatures most disturbing. They appear in large numbers, protecting the newly transformed Sangresuges like hornets.